Hello everybody, so today we are going to review the newer 35mm f1.7 lens. This is available for Micro Four Thirds and APS-C uh, formats such as Sony and Nikon and all that. Um, right now I'm shooting with the lens itself right now. So the lens looks absolutely tiny on this camera. The camera is a Panasonic Lumix G85 with a battery grip extension. So I'm going to switch over to my kit lens so I can show you the lens itself and its features. So it comes with this very nice little um, leather bag. Well, it's not super nice, but it's an upgrade from the packaging they used to use. So this lens is all metal construction, as far as I can feel. I mean, it feels like all some sort of aluminum, except for this back part right here, which I think is, uh, this looks to be stainless. The lens cap is aluminum as well. See it goes plink. Um, this little inner element, right, this little inner ring right here, aluminum as well. So the aperture ring is clickless. This means that it doesn't have any uh, detents when you turn it. It doesn't go clink, 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 clink. Uh, this might be useful for videographers, but for photographers, uh, still photographers, this can be kind of annoying sometimes because um, you actually have to look at it to see what aperture. You just can't you can't just count clicks. Um, it's got does have a range gauge. This is very useful, especially when when you're doing zone focusing. These numbers they feel engraved. Like if I run my nail across them, they're actually an indentation. Uh, so that's good. I thought there might have been silk screened by the look of it, but it's actually engraved. So here are some images I took with this lens, as well as some few videos of the uh, hermit crabs. Hope you enjoy. Well everyone, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget my poll is still open until the end of March. So far it is tied between music and instrument builds and tutorials and reviews, of which this is a review video. And as always, thanks for watching.